Okay, so let's take a look at where we're at now. First of all, my kitchen is a bloody mess, so just keep that in mind. This is a very messy endeavor. Uh, so if you've got some outdoor space or what, uh, whatnot, try to use that if you can. It won't take long to clean up. There's just soil and glassware and water everywhere. I kind of love it, but it's going to get annoying. So uh, anyways, so we now have everything sewed and ready to go. I've got my wheatgrass on top. I've got my sunflower on the bottom. Once again, each cell pack has a different sewing rate on there, uh, going uh, around 50% less to 60% more than a sort of standard sewing rate they, that I already had to work with. I've got my trays labeled and I've got all my cell packs here randomized. So after I did the seeding, I mixed them all around. The cell packs are labeled and I have a map as well of the, of the reorganized uh, uh, cells. That way if something happens to these, uh, these labels, I know where things are at. I've got the trays now covered with another cell pack with soil and water in them. Each of the covering cell packs weighs between 12 and 13 ounces. So sorry to switch over to uh, the imperial system there, I just, uh, it was just easier to weigh them on the scale. So everything's set up and ready to go. The sunflower is on a heating pad. The wheatgrass is not. It's because the sunflower likes a lot more heat. So now what we are going to do is we are going to wait. It is Monday morning. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning is when we are going to take a look at the wheatgrass. So that is after 72 hours of growth. We are going to uncover these. We are going to take a photo of each one and we're going to measure the height of each uh, one. And then we're going to do some just any qualitative observations there. We'll do some video around that. The sunflower gets four days of germination, so that will be uh, Wednesday, Thursday is when we will take a look at that one. So it'll have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, let me think about that. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday is when we're going to do wheatgrass. Friday is when we're going to, going to do sunflower. Sorry. Um, so three full days of wheatgrass, four full days of sunflower. And that is going to be our first measurement. Now, some of these, uh, actually, I was going to say, some may actually totally get discarded right after that, though probably we'll just let everything go to see how things recover. Uh, as I've talked about before, if things don't do well in the germination phase, they rarely recover. Uh, I will be keeping an eye on things before then. If I see any problems arising, uh, I'll try to adjust them then and make any notes on it there. So off to a pretty good start. Uh, now, this was about two or three hours of work, and I was able to multitask and, and do other things while I was uh, letting things soak, but it was quite a bit of work to get all this done. So, so make sure you, you schedule yourself enough time to get things done, otherwise you're going to rush and make mistakes. And I had actually forgotten to, uh, I put my wheatgrass tray up here, my second one, and I hadn't recorded the, uh, the, uh, the cell pack order on the computer. So I had to go back and do that. So just really try to be uh, give yourself enough time so you're not rushing. It's when you're rushing that you're most likely to make mistakes. Uh, once again, the links to the write-up and the data sheet are going to be in the uh, comment section here, or the description section of each video. So you can take a look at the information I'm recording and uh, make comments there as well if you have any questions. So that'll be it for a few days. If there is anything that comes up uh, during the interim time that I want to make a note of, I'll do a video of that. Otherwise, I'll be doing another video as a follow-up in three days. What I'll do is I'll enter the data in there and we can kind of do our first analysis of the data by taking a look at things there. So that is it for the first part of the experiment series on sewing rates. We've got everything ready to go. Our next real uh, lengthy video is going to be that of our first data collection.